When we uh, were asked to do this vignette, we didn't really know that we were going to have any sort of theme. And it sort of came to us a little bit later that uh, it was based on the four elements and, uh, and that we were water. So that kind of gave us a creative grounding point um, for everything that we wanted to do. Most of our projects, we, we start and design a room and then fill in with artwork. This time we had the opportunity, working with the American Craft Council, to select the artwork first and build the space around it. And it was fun, it was an interesting challenge. Once we had the general concept, I did go online and research all of the artists that were coming, and I already knew who else I was going to incorporate into my vignette by the time I got here. I was given air as my element. When I kept thinking about air, I'm obsessed with outer space. And since I'm a production designer, movies usually inspire what I do. And my favorite set design is 2001 A Space Odyssey. We chose Bruce Johnson's piece because we really love the color of the blue and the white and the scale is really important to us, so this being a taller piece just worked out perfectly. First of all, we picked uh, Kung because it was a literal interpretation of fire. We wanted to create this whole kind of campfire, fire pit, but in a residential setting. The first artist I chose was Kipley Meyer. I really loved his wall sculptures. They are made out of wood and caustic materials, earth toned and very organic in form. The first piece I chose was by Vicki Essig, and what I love about it is it's made of textiles, which look like they're blowing in the wind, plus it's framed with no back panel, so you look directly through it. Perfect for air. The nice thing about an exhibition like this is a lot of times people can feel overwhelmed by the variety, but here with these make room vignettes, it's really easy to see how you can place some of these pieces in your own home. People don't necessarily associate craft pieces with fine art. We try to, to bridge that gap by showing, yes, it can be a centerpiece in a really sophisticated interior. I'm really pleased with how the vignette looks. I think the artists are happy with how their pieces were showcased, and I hope the visitors enjoy it as well. This juxtaposition of the design world and a decades-old organization all about crafts is the perfect fit, because I design spaces for real people, which are functional. But to make them personal, you have to have something one of a kind and handmade. So they go hand in hand.